At last year's world championships, Deng Faoxiao was the highest finishing Chinese gymnast in the all-around. How much does she want to have a successful Olympics? Well, consider what she's given up to get here in Sydney, Australia. This is the sacrifice of Deng Faoxiao's life. It's mom and dad waiting to squeeze six months into a day. They gave their baby girl to gymnastics, gave away those precious years to China. That's the way it happens here for a little one like this, all of three. Her mother thinks she's got a special gift and goes to a place like Shengsha Sports School to literally see how her daughter measures up. After a long wait, the decision comes. It can be a happy time of promise. This is how it was for Dong Fao Zhao. She was one of the lucky ones, given in a nation of 1.4 billion, the chance to stand out. At first, my mom came with me, but she had to leave after two days. I was so sad. I cried while I hugged her. I begged her not to go, but the coach pulled me away and mom left. One time I told her she would better not cry when I leave. She has to say goodbye with a smile or mom won't come to visit anymore. And that was the time that I cried the most. Because after I said that, she managed to squeeze out a smile with tears still falling down her cheeks. She said, bye-bye, mommy, and I couldn't stop crying. Away went Dong Faoxiao, and the coaches pushed to find her limit. It's the only way they feel to find out who can take it and who can't. Dong Fao Xiao was one of the jewels and was selected to the national team. Beijing is five hours away. So now, twice a year, an anxious meeting like this one takes place. For one short day, they were a family again. Then it was done, and the Dongs returned to being a photograph and a letter from Fao Xiao. Soon, their Olympian will come home.